A 2005 report indicated a 9% decline in surgical abortions in the United States. The Washington Times reported in January this drop may be related to the availability of RU486, which was used by more than 460,000 women in America during the first five years of availability. Do you think it's a good alternative to surgical abortion? I think it's incredibly unsafe, uh, especially since women are given this drug, usually not with the medical supervision that I, I had. They're given this drug and they're sent home and they're left to their own devices as to determine what is too much bleeding, what isn't too much bleeding, what is too much pain, what isn't too much pain. You know, I don't understand how you say to a 14-year-old child, here's this drug with these horrific side effects. Go home, take this, tell nobody, and come back to us within 72 hours. What does a 14-year-old girl in the bathroom at home hiding this from her mother do when she delivers this human being that lays there in her hand and is perfectly formed and is undeniably human? And then what? Um, and I don't understand how a, a woman or even worse, a young girl can be called upon to make that kind of a value judgment. During a 1996 PBS NewsHour broadcast, you expressed considerable concern for the women of America if the FDA approved RU-46. Uh, you went on to say that uh, the women of this country are going to find after approval in five to 10 years that we've opened a Pandora's box as far as complications and damage to women. Now, after uh, 12 years, after the FDA has approved that drug, does that warning ring true today? Yes, it still rings true today. I'm still concerned for American women. The FDA does have the statutory authority to remove the drug, but they know that pulling the drug from the market would be politi political suicide for whoever um, pulls that drug, and no one's willing to do it until there are enough deaths. Well, Wendy, what do you think is the best way to go about ending RU486 in this chemical abortion? There are a number of things we ought to be doing. One is making sure that people are aware of how dangerous RU46. It's more dangerous than surgical abortion, that it is more psychologically traumatic. But we probably also need to have more safeguards on RU46. Abortion clinics are not going to do what's in the best interest of women. Uh, they are not concerned about her, her, her health and her medical well-being. And so we need to have laws that will ensure that she's being looked out for. So it would be good for legislators to take a hard look at what abortion clinics are doing and pass regulations and laws that um, will help safeguard women from the abortion industry who would uh, freely dispense this drug at putting the women at risk. Losing a child during pregnancy is a horrific experience. Compounding the trauma with RU486 doubled Rebecca's pain. This chemical abortion technique is much more dangerous and deadly than advertised. And sadly, women are paying the price for this failing medical experiment. Thanks for watching. Abortion stops the beating heart of an unborn child. I'd like to help you tell others about the humanity of the unborn baby. This beautiful necklace depicts the actual size and shape of an unborn child's feet just 10 weeks after conception. It's my free gift to you for the asking. Simply visit FacingLife.tv and request one. While there, order your copy of today's program on DVD to help warn others about the dangers of chemical abortion.